this is probably the worst look ever but so today i'm going to do a video on lip filler because i get a lot of questions all the time asking a lot all the questions under the sun about filler so i thought why not bring you along on a top up because i'm getting a i've got no makeup on because i don't really like to have makeup on because she wipes it all off anyway it's currently quarter to five and i've got to be there five but it's down the road it's a really good girl um um i'm getting a half a mil put in because it's been about a year and a half since i had the other mill put in but because i've been getting it for years i don't need it topped up as much as some people do so i thought why not bring you along and um i also i've done a question on me instagram story asking anyone got any questions and lots of my friends have got lip filler too so i'm going to ask them the same questions and come back to you so it's from all different accounts it's not just from me because you need to hear it from everyone else who's got different pain thresholds had different things happen different lip filler what's it called the solution that goes in there but i'm just going to i'm just doing a quick intro for this bit um what i use but i'll give you a little bit of an explanation and that's one second i find out what it is that she uses but it is really good She's so called M Aesthetics. If you're based on Redden, she's really good. She lives, it's in Sun Common. E -E. And she, I wonder if it's on here, what she uses. Um, info? Go on, Info. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Anyway, so. I'm hoping just to get, if you can see this one's going in a bit like this, I want it to go out of it here. And this one will go a bit more out like there. I'm only getting half a mil so it won't actually make that much difference, but it's just more on the border for me. But this is it before. Like, I've got a good shape, but I'll show you some before and after. Like, this is going to be the quickest intro because I'm literally out the door and the camera's just charged. So, I will bring you along. So, if you don't like goriness, I've still got the scar on my eye switch off because i'm gonna show you what it's like what's he been up to then yeah i don't know what we can do like just the border mm -hmm. and like i don't know it's hard isn't it because they, they have held really well yeah we can just give them more of a lip and more like definition mm. yeah like here maybe yeah and like i feel like maybe on the sides and like in the center i don't know you mm. just do what you need to do <laughs> <laughs> and then I just dribbled. <laughs> one it is halloween so i've just been doing that with me new lips but this is been about an hour since i've had them done can you see this it's such a nice shape aren't they they are a bit swollen you can see but she does such a good little thing here and how she turns up the sides i do have a little bruise but like they're just so full I don't know she's just a bloody magician but um yeah this they will swell up tomorrow the more the night goes on the bigger they get 
but then um, they do go back down. But I'll show you along the way the swelling because they do get pretty. But she's done a really good job. Like I've told her to concentrate on doing the border because the border was like really good before and then it just sort of sunk them down and put some more fullness around here, hence why this is there. I'm sure I always get a bruise there though. Had a bruise there before. And then just put like more volume around. Can I take this? It's not focusing, is it? Just put more volume around the sides here. But I'm impressed. They look good, don't they? If I'm thinking for um the festive season. I needed some new lips, so but it was just a half a mil. But a half a mil makes such a difference when they're already full and you've got the right person. Well, I'll see you in the morning for the full wrath of the swelling. It's Mrs. Bruise. It is now half past one, the day after, and this is the bruising situation. So I went to the gym this morning. I don't know if I meant to do that, but I went anyway. I didn't run. I just did some weights. But um, this is the current. They are a bit more swollen on the top, and you can see my lips do bruise a lot more than the normal person. I don't know why. I am just a bruisey girl, but. They're still not huge, like they're not massive, the swelling, normally the swelling's like, but um, so far, so good, it's just this bad boy, I have to cover that up somehow, I'm going to football tonight, and it's a big old bruise isn't it, black lip, but it's all going to be worth it, as I've got a wedding on Friday, and it's going to be stunning, it's going to be a stunning pout, yeah. So that's just a first day update. Yeah. So, I have been a bit poorly the last couple of days. Just a good old flu situation, nothing to be. Nothing to be too worried about, but this is. What day is it? Day? Thursday. One, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Day four. But day three, really, because I got it done on the night time, but. So the bruises are still here, but they can be covered. You see? And the swelling's pretty much went down. On a morning, it always swells more, but this is the situation so far. But I do have a list of questions that people put in my little question box about um, lip filler. So I'll do that. Maybe I'll do that now. Should I do that now? Why not? Yeah, come on, let's, let's do that now. Why not? Cooking. We're cooking my gas. So, I was just editing this video, Megan from the Future, and the sound's not working on it, so I'm having to do the Q&A again now, which is better because now you can actually see. I've got a bit of lipstick on, but this is unhealed. It's been two weeks? Two weeks. Yeah. How long has it been? One week, week and a half since I had them done. And look, I'm pretty impressed. I'm pretty happy. But I thought, you know what? Let's get this question and answer done because I know a lot of people had some questions about it. So I thought, I can't leave this bit out. This is the important bit. So I'm here again. We're batting through the questions again. So, right, the first question was, how much out of 10 does it hurt, right? And this is the hardest thing ever. The hardest question to answer because everyone's pain threshold's different, honestly. Mine's different to me friends. I literally put this question into my um into my friendship WhatsApp group because all of us had lip filler and I was like, what would you say it was out of ten? And they're like six, five, eleven, a hundred. Like, honestly, you can't you literally cannot. If you've got a good pain threshold, it's not that bad. I personally don't think it's that bad. I would say for me it's about five out of ten. Because I don't like tattoos because I feel agitated, but lip filler is a different sort of pain. It's a bit like a nip, but you do get um, numbing cream. So, and it lasts about 25 minutes. So it's like, it's easy. It's, if you've got a good woman and she's delicate with you, you're fine. And I just think, it's fine, it's fine. If you really want it, just push yourself. But 
it's really hard to say if out of 10, like so many people are so different. So it just depends. If you're not really good with needles, I wouldn't suggest it. I have heard though, don't thingy me on this. I talked to some girl at an event a couple weeks ago and she said she had a can, a cannula, a cannula put in and it made her go to sleep and then they done a lip filler when she was asleep or something and I was like, shut up. And I think that's the thing now, so if you really struggle with needles, some places can do that for you, but please don't just go to anyone and be doing that. But that's rumour that can do that. But um, don't take my word for it, I am not skilled in this. I just, I'm a consumer of it. Um, yeah, so that's that. Mm, it just depends. It's so hard. It is, it's not as bad as you think though. It's just like a little nip. The worst bit of hurts is round this spot, the border, because it's like thin, that's where it hurts the most. And I always find mine hurts one side, apparently one side of your brain detects pain more than the other, something like that. And I always find it hurts on one side more than the other one. So sometimes you could do the least side and get a shock on that side, or you could do the the painful side, and then you think, oh, this one's easy. So that's one little thing that you can rem you got to remember. But yeah, that's it. Um, right, number question. Another question that was asked loads was, um, how many, how much lip filler have you got, and how long have you been having it? So, I've been having it since. 2015, 15, 17, no, 16, 2016 I've been having it since, so I started with a mill, I had no top lip, like it was terrible, I put a picture here, I was overlining like god knows what, um, but I had a sort of bottom lip, so I was like right let's just try and pump the top one up to give it some little like even it out and that was the whole like Kylie Jenner phase where everyone was living the best life so I thought right I'm just gonna do it I'm gonna do it I went to some random woman because this is when it was actually really hard to find someone who could do it because it wasn't like a big thing but anyway I went to a really good woman and to be honest I think because of her my fella hasn't migrated because she was put it in good at the first point if that makes sense I don't know what it is I think she was really good but she was really expensive um, but for your first time, I think that's the best way to go because I feel like if they overfill the first time, it can really mess up and that's when it goes like up here, like my grades, but I don't know, I'm just making that up. Um, so I had, and then I started getting about a mil, I got another mil about six months later because it does go away straight away. When you first get your first mil, your body just like breaks it down because it's like a foreign object in your body. So just prepare when it doesn't last that long, your first one, you've sort of got to keep on top of it. And then now... I was getting it once a year and now I get it like once every year and a half and I don't even need that to be honest. I feel like it's already in there. It doesn't really need it. I just do it for one more, the border, because it does soften a bit and it gets like, it's not as like um, harsh. So it's a bit harder to do your lip liner, but now you can see like, and, um, but one thing, since getting lip filler, my lips has went a little white here. Like you get them little white spots. And I think that's just because it's really stretched. Because it was so small the lip before and it's stretched out. It's lost like a bit of like the pigment here. So like my lips are quite pale when I haven't got lipstick on. But it's fine. Like I am really happy. Like I'm very lucky. The, I've got a good shape. Do you know what I mean? Like some people who've been on filler for years have had to get it dissolved and put more back in. And like reshape their lips again. But yeah. So I, all in all, it's probably about 8 mil. All together I think. And I got... um. Restylin was my first one, which is like the stuff that goes in there. That's what you need to do a lot of research on as well. Restylin, that was good. I think that's a bit soft, softer, I don't know. And then I went to Juvederm. Juvederm Smile I had, and I don't know if they still do that, but that was so good, Juvederm was. That's the one that I found didn't break down that easy because it's a bit harder, but it was a bit more expensive and it's harder to find. Like only certain people stocked it, but it was so much worth it because that's what kept it up and kept the shape. But, um... One one time I got a bit excited and I was like, you know what, just put a full mill in the top and it was a mess. I'll see if I can find a picture and I'll put it here. And that was a mistake. I wish I never did, but that was Juvederm and it took a long time for that to come down. Like, I had a big top lip for ages, so that just shows Juvederm stays there. But I think there's better ones now. That was like 2018 to 20 when I was getting that. 
but I think there's better ones now you just have to do your research and ask someone that you really know that's really good but yeah and now I just get like a half a mil because I just need a little top up like the last one I just had was half a mil but yeah what else okay someone said what are the reasons why people grow to regret it um so it's hard right so many people it just depends honestly the amount of bodge jobs i've seen we've all seen it like where you, people just go ott and it is so easy to go i want more i want more because some people love the feeling of like the swollen look but um it's just you've got to be very self-aware because it is easy to go ott i did it my big top lip and i regret it now i'm like jesus christ that wasn't a good look like you do not want to be a blow doll but it just depends you've got to do your research like it can't just, like and the thing is you can't even just trust pictures these days because a lot of people edit pictures it's all through like word of mouth and finding out people that you know who's had it and it's actually had a good experience with the people and you can trust them because i've had it done before with a place called boutique spa and they're a bit weird it's one of them companies where they do like voucher deals and stuff and i've got that done with them in like 2019 and i've seen lots of mixed reviews about it and i was like why is there so many mixed reviews? Because they're doing Juvederm, the stuff that I like to get put in, and it was quite cheap. And I was thinking, what's the catch here? Anyway, I don't know what it was, the man who did it. It just didn't work. Like, I've got the swelling, but as soon as the swelling went down, there was just no filler left. And I was thinking, this is the most bizarre thing. Like, where's that even gone? I just don't know if he was putting it in the right place and probably just went into my system. But that's what I mean. And they had mixed reviews, and I was a bit cautious, but I'm very bad at stuff like this. Um, but yeah, it's definitely good to look and don't go for wow job because that's where the bad stuff happens. Like invest in your face for God's sake. Just pay that bit extra. Um but yeah, that's the main thing really. Um but yeah, a lot everyone was just saying about the pain thing and I can't repeat that question all over again. So if you have got any more random like niche questions about it, um just put them below and I will answer them what I know. Like I don't know everything. Um but yeah if you are thinking about doing it like it honestly it helped my confidence so much getting it done and i know like a lot of people are like our oh, fillers are out of fashion now but the difference it made to me face like because i've got a bigger nose anyway and it's it made me i've always felt like this was so big compared to this and like it made like it was a bit like this imagine if that wasn't there like it makes my nose look so much bigger so it sort of like evened this part out a bit which made us feel a bit less self-conscious about having a big old honker so and it's just so it just makes your life so much easier when you're bloody overlining your lips or lips it's honestly it's the best thing i ever did so yeah that's everything but yeah if you have any questions please put them below um and i will answer them as much as i can but I hope that didn't freak you out too much and I hope this has sort of helped you if you were considering getting them and if you weren't that's just my experience with it so far and it's been a positive one which a lot of people don't have a positive one but I've just been a lucky gal 